Okay, so it's fire pit time. We are here at Lowe's picking up. Uh, I think that is 3,000 pounds over there in pavers, a little more than that, and this is 72 pavers. So 168 pavers plus 72 pavers plus a fire pit. So the fire pit is pretty cool. We're gonna build it in the center of all this. It's gonna be on a 15 by 15 foot pad that all this goes down, and then this will go on top of it. So, yep, it's ought to be fun. It's very interesting seeing how they operated a forklift to get all this stuff in here because that's super heavy, followed by this, which is super heavy, followed by this, which is kind of heavy. Anyways, we're gonna take this back to the property. Thank God we have a tractor. Okay, so welcome back. It's the next day. We are continuing on the projects. Uh, we're trying to level this as best as we can at this point. You know, the ground's actually pretty level. There's a few little high spots here and there. Uh, we're moving the material around. Uh, we're dragging the blade back over it to try to compact it, level it a little bit. We need a good rain to put it down in place a little bit more, and then maybe I'll rent a roller and just try to get this stuff compacted the best we can. We got pretty much all the real big rocks out of it. We still got some that we're tossing out. Overall though, it's working out pretty good. Again, we're just waiting for rain so we can compact this down, make it look nice and flat. It's never gonna be completely flat, but it's gonna get pretty close, right? We're gonna do the very best we can to try to get as flat as we can. This is about I'd probably say three, three inches, maybe three and a half inches of material that spread over it. We contemplating getting another load just to see what it would look like and if it would, you know, help us level it, give us more material to do it. But I think before we do that, we want a good strong rain so we know what we have, get this stuff brought down. We still need to move some of the mounds because there's a lot right here that we can move to some areas like right here. I mean, that's probably six inches deep right there. And again, you know, there's just all sorts of little areas that we're still working on. Certainly putting the tractor to work, that thing has been a godsend. I mean, it's just really, really helped us make this project manageable. I mean, could you imagine doing a project like this without a tractor and just trying to shovel it all by hand? And this is a really relevant project to RVers because we have our 50 amp connection right here. Got my post with some lighting on it right here. This is where the RV is gonna be. Eventually I'll probably form a fire pit right here, put some chairs around it. So we have an actual RV slip on the property. But we're a long way away from that. We're getting really close though. And you know, so far it's, uh, it's working out for us. So very glad to have the material down. Very glad to start that process of uh, killing off the grass and getting it all decomposed underneath there so we can eventually have the Brookstone parked out here. Anyways, I'd love to know your thoughts on the project. It's one of many that we're working on, and this one's arguably one of the more important ones, but it's certainly coming along. Anyways, on to the next project. Okay, so this is the location of the fire pit. We brought four tractor bucket loads of sand in, and uh, yeah, we're going to level it all out. 
It's gonna be 12 feet by 12 feet. And uh, taking a look over here, it'll have a fire pit. This is actually a kit from Lowe's. So it comes with the actual stones and the fire pit and it allows it to be built up three levels high. And then we have 160, uh, about 235, 240 uh, paver stones here. And those things are super, super heavy. And uh, yeah, those will be going down here for ground cover, and then we will build this on top of that. So very cool project. There's already a fire pit out here, but it's all rusted to pieces, and we want something a little bit nice. And we want something nicer that looks nicer, can hold more people around it, and give us some safety in terms of uh, you know keeping a fire contained. But yeah, that is uh, one of the projects we have for today. First thing first, gotta level all this out so it's all nice and secured in place. And then we're gonna get that uh, sand that you actually use as kind of mortar or, uh, or joint. And then we're gonna get that sand that you pour on top and it kind of hardens in the joints once it's all done. So. Another fun project. Okay, so we are back at the fire pit location. It is pretty close to getting complete. Got a layer of sand underneath it to level it out. It's turned out pretty good. Gone through a full pallet and a half of pavers. We made it a little smaller than we originally had planned. At first we were gonna do it 15 by 15, but then when we marked out 15, it was bigger than we actually anticipated. And we didn't need it that big. So instead of that, we're just making it 12 by 12 and uh, the fire pit will be comfortably right in the center here. It's pretty much leveled off. I mean, it is really, really coming along well. Got a lot of extra sand. I brought way, way, way too much sand out here. And these pavers are pretty ridiculously heavy, especially after you unload a bunch of them. But the fire pit looks super cool, and it will go down first. Or, I'm sorry, you actually put these in a ring, and then a second ring and a third ring, and then this sets in the center of it. So it's coming along really well. And uh, yeah, we went through a couple and of course you break some of them along your journey. But all the materials here, I believe were about $700, a little less than 700 bucks for everything here. We're gonna frame this out when we're done just so the bricks don't like separate. And then we're gonna put kind of a fill sand that hardens in between to keep them from shifting. But what are your thoughts? What do you think? It's getting dark outside. Another project that we're trying to wrap up before it gets too dark. Anyways, I got some really good friends out here helping me out and that always makes a project like this far, far, far easier. So big shout out to them. Okay, so it is now the next day. It is still super, super windy outside. Actually, it's a lot windier. It looks like we got a little rain overnight, but this is what the platform looks like. And this is essentially gonna be where the chairs are around. The fire pit will go here in the center. Got a lot of extra sand. You know, it's really hard to tell how much extra sand you have in a video. If I squat down maybe a little bit. Anyways, got a couple broken blocks here. It's leveled off pretty dang good to be honest. Kind of welcoming the rain so it helps kind of compact it down a little bit. But yeah, it is uh, certainly coming along. Have the old fire pit right there. Have some chairs that'll be going on here pretty soon. I'm gonna frame around the outside. Uh, just because I don't want the blocks to slowly kind of work their way out because they're all nice and tightly packed together at this point. So again, one thing I mentioned in the earlier segment was that we were going to make this 15 by 15. Uh, and then when we got out here, we started measuring everything out. We decided to do 12 by 12 because it kind of just makes more sense for the space we have. 15 would have been an additional three blocks going off to the side and I don't think we needed that. I think this is just about the perfect size for the fire pit. Fire pit's still in the back of the dump trailer. Let's walk over here so you can see. Still have about half a pallet of blocks left, so what we may end up doing is making a little path off of this wooden trail right here, coming out to it or I may stack it on this little area right here because all those little tiles are starting to wear off. Good thing is, is when you got pavers on a piece of property like this, you have pretty much a endless projects that you could use them on. But this is super cool. I can't wait to put the fire pit down. So the fire pit's gonna be three rings, I believe, of stones in a circle, and then you put the fire pit in the center. And then what I'll do is I'll fill the center of it 
about halfway full with this sand and that'll just give it a little bit of a, a rise and a little bit of a barrier to protect uh, anything from dropping down too far even though it'll just hit pavers below but yeah this entire project if you do it yourself and you have the sand would probably cost you about a little under 700 bucks if you pay someone to do it I'm gonna venture to say it would be around maybe two thousand dollars just because of the labor unloading all this stuff bringing sand in if you have to go out and purchase the sand it's probably about 50 60 bucks worth of sand to do it and then again once we get this stacked up we'll put sand in the center of it so we can put the logs on the actual sand it also gives us a little bit of uh, something to put it out or smother it if we need to in a hurry we don't have any trees directly above where the fire is going to be, but you always want to be careful, especially if it's really dry outside because embers and things flying off of it could, you know, ignite different things around you. And that's always something to be concerned with. So you want to have some type of means of putting it out in a hurry if you have to. And the good thing is, is we have a water hose right here. We're going to have sand. I'll probably put a little area with extra sand so you can just put it out really quickly if you'd like to. But coming along really really nicely we're not going to work on it too much today it's about to start raining and uh we've had a pretty rough week so i'm ready to take a half a day and relax a little bit before i move on to other stuff anyways guys i sure hope you've enjoyed this video a lot of little projects taking place out here i hope you like following them you know it's a bit of a break from the rv stuff i have always done segmented videos on my channel where i'll do an rv video and then i'll do something around towing and then i'll do something around an upgrade or a modification and then i'll do something that's kind of you know off topic to all of that stuff whether it's mountain biking or you know going to a certain area and that's kind of what i'm using this property for now we have so many projects there's so many folks out there who like to do things themselves and this is just another means for me to create some content in between the rv videos that kind of give you that break give you the ability to see some of the other stuff that we have going on because at the end of the day it doesn't matter how large of a youtube channel you are and i'm not saying i'm a large youtube channel but it doesn't matter how large of a youtube channel you are you're still just a person you're still just a human typically with a family typically with responsibilities and you're trying to knock out all those other things a lot of really great channels out there only show you the thing that they do as a hobby or the thing that they do to create content but they don't show you some of the other things going on in their life and that's what i'm trying to do guys if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to my channel it's starting to rain i'm gonna head inside have a wonderful day we'll talk to you again very soon